Welcome back to the channel. Today we're installing a Freedom New Haven aluminum fence on our home. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this aluminum fence. Got two sections in last night with the help of the entire family. This is a family fun project. Just got a third section that's temporarily just in the holes here. As we'll start installing that today. Just want to walk you through a few things here. I'll cut to some video at some point and show you the first two sections that went in. But it's pretty sturdy. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. What I love about this fence is that it racks itself. It has ability to angle and have the fence naturally follow the contour of the land. Now, I do want to point out a couple things I did. I started off with an end rail on the off-grid shed. Good place to start. And I think the hardest part of the whole project is getting your first hole in the ground. I will tell you at this point that from end rail to your first rail is about 72 half inches. I think the sweet spot is digging about 73 inches. Again, I'll show a little bit of that in a cutaway. And after that, you keep adding a section and a rail and you build your fence out. So the plan for this fence, we're gonna bring it down uh, to about here, run across down to about the middle of the garden, then cut over to our deck. And then I'm thinking about cutting a fence line from the corner of the house up to the shed. Now what I do like about running the fence from the corner of the shed up to the corner of the house is the fact that it completely um, fences in our pool. That just adds another level of security. I think it's always a good idea to have a fence around your pool, whether you're in ground or above ground, it's just good to do, good safety factor there. So the end's going to be right down here. All right, it's good. Go ahead, okay. you can move it in. Here's the Massey Ferguson GC1725. I got a Cat Zero auger. This is really, really handy and useful. It saves a lot of time, saves a lot of labor, and it just speeds up the entire process. bounced off down there. It's not going in the spot we really wanted to go. That's so level. All right, so we got our first section roughed in. Had to make the hole a little bit bigger just because we didn't have our measurements quite right. But now we can measure from the center of this post and bring it over to our next section. So I'm gonna put some dry concrete in here, just make sure everything stays plumb and level. Wow, first section is done. All right, so I think we got a pretty good DIY project. You can get the whole family involved. The fence goes in pretty quick, especially when you have an auger. And uh, I would never do this project without having an auger on a tractor or renting an auger and so forth. It's really helpful, especially in clay soil. So here's some time-lapse video. I wanna show you the entire process for adding a section of fence.
working with the auger for the first time on this project, it's important to get it level and straight. So having a spotter, in this case my wife, she's helping me line it up so I can put it in the ground nice and straight. It's also important to note that you should also line up the opposite side. So in this case, this is the x-axis. If you go directly behind the tractor looking at the auger, you should be able to line things up. This might require turning the wheels left and right to get it nice and straight. Now I just want to mention that this is just going to be a short video, not going to show the entire installation process. It's not necessary. Once you see one section go together, it's pretty much the same throughout. Why is that so much higher? Is this not any right fencing? Is that for a shorter fence? It's not the right one. What? We have a problem. All right, I've run into a problem that has entirely stopped the whole project. And it's about the corner pulse. So check this out. Open up the corner pulse, okay? Here's the model number, 418004, okay? Corner pulse. Yep, corner pulse all set to go. Look where the hole is on this thing, okay? It's a lot higher up. Here's a line post, and the hole's way down here. So here's my corner pulse higher, lower. This obviously must be for a shorter fence. I'm not sure Lowe's sells, at least locally, the shorter fence. I've only seen the four and a half foot height fence. Take a look at the other corner pulse. Take a look at this. Do you see that this is a corner pulse? It's not a corner pulse, but what's it label as? Corner pulse. What's going on here? What's all this hubbub? So what's going on here? Is it quality control from Freedom New Haven? From Freedom Outdoor Living? Is this what they do? They uh, put end pulse and, ma and mark them as, as corner pulse? Doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, again, this hole is the same height as this, is obviously for a shorter fence. I think part of this is Lowe's, I think part of this is Freedom Outdoor Living. Bunch of smoke blowing clowns. But obviously there is little to no quality control here. If they're calling this a corner post, and there's no double set of holes up there, there's one set there, nothing else. Not happy right now. Not happy. This is not working. Gotta stop the entire process. Gotta go back to Lowe's. They say they have 11 in stock. We'll see if they have this or they have the correct ones that should be that height for four and a half foot. I want answers. So I'm gonna head down there and find out some answers here. I'm gonna bring both of these posts along with one of these in case they don't have any more line posts so I can straighten this out and at least show them. Say, hey, look, you're selling the wrong post for your entire fence that's four and a half foot. Check this out. So same model number, okay? 418004. 418004. All right, hole right here. Hole right here. And the corner pulse. Corner pulse, see corner pulse up there. There's definitely some kind of issue with this. What a bunch of clouds. <laughs> All right, just got two sections in this afternoon. I did three last night, and then we finished the one in the corner before that. Pretty much lost my whole day yesterday because I had to go to Lowe's, and then return the stuff, get the new items. Also picked up a couple other things like gates and a couple more end posts. Uh, but it was a real issue, you know, having wrong parts. And what you can see from the video, you know, they're, they're calling things the same items, they're certainly not, so. But moving on here, we got uh, in this line, one, two, three, four, five done. I think we estimate this line will be about uh, 10 sections in total. So we're getting there. Just taking our time, doing a little bit, taking breaks, it's hot out. And uh, what's nice about this fence is, because I'm, you know, doing dry mixes, I can go up and down on these and just level things. So I might come down on that one a little bit. Seems a little high, but 
my grade is going uphill over here so this fence will start going up so that actually, actually might be in pretty good shape I might actually raise that one and that one a little bit but you have some flexibility with this entire system all right I got a quick update on the fence want to show you the west side completed it this morning and I think it's looking pretty good. We used 12 sections. We actually have a change of plans here. We came out a little bit further on this post. And we're going to go right up to the house. We're going to bypass going to the deck. Be a lot more work in closing that area. So we're going to do five sections here. And then do the gate about right here. And then continue on to the house. I think I'm going to go ahead and just tack on to the cement. Use pressure treated lumber drill into there then mount my rail right there so I think we're in pretty good shape I would estimate we're about halfway done on this definitely saving a lot of money doing DIY and learning a lot so very happy with the progress so far stay tuned there'll be more to come